Every time you download an app on your phone, the default privacy setting is actually more public than private. And this could make you an easy target for a scammer who's looking for more information to try to trick you. Or if there's a data breach with that app or the company associated with that app, you may be giving away more private information than you even realize. Here's what it can look like. Let's use Venmo, for example. When you download that app, it automatically puts you on a public privacy setting. What this means is that any transaction you make to someone or they make to you and any information you disclose with that transaction, well, anyone with internet is able to access that. And you might not even realize that you're giving this app access to things like your location or the photo albums on your phone. They have all this additional data that they are collecting that is unrelated to the service that they are providing. That this data they collect doesn't in any way increase the quality of service. I just went into my settings on my phone all right. where all my yeah. apps are, and it does say that it does track my location while I'm using this, and I had Absolutely. no idea. Same with the photos. They have full access to my photos. Why would they need exactly. that? Exactly. So what can you do to protect yourself? Well, you have to be vigilant. You cannot rely on the app to have your best interests when it comes to privacy. So what you can do is go into each app individually. We'll use Venmo, for example. On the bottom right, there's the me icon. You're gonna click that, and then on the top right, you'll click on the mechanical wheel. Then you're gonna press the privacy tab. There, you're gonna see three options. The public default option, friends, which means you only share your information with people you know or that are in your contact list, and private. Private's the most secure. But there's something else you can do. You can go into the settings on your phone. And when you scroll all the way down, you'll see all of your apps. You're gonna have to go into each one of these individually and switch off manually what you do and do not want for your privacy. For example, Venmo. I was sharing my location with them as well as my full photo album on my phone. Now you can either switch these off completely or you can limit the access. You're gonna to wanna to do this for each one of your apps to see what you're sharing and maybe fix what you don't like and leave what you do. Fighting fraud, I'm Cassie Arsenault. Local 12 has more consumer stories just like this. Don't forget to click the links and press subscribe.